Good morning to all. I welcome to you. Yes, we are online classes. Myself, Allah Dai told Devindra Kavalgi, Assistant Teacher of Social Science. Yesterday, we were discussing the geography part, the first lesson, the Indian position and the, the extension. And today, we have to be continue the second lesson, the geography and the one more important concept of this, the geography and it is called the Indian Physiography. Chapter 2 Indian Physiography India is a vast country and India have the very type of the relief features and the very type of the landmass. Because of this reason, the Indians having various type of the landmasses, example, and mountains and valleys and uh, different types of the landmasses and next uh, the one more important coastal areas and peninsular plateau areas and desert region and coastal plains and next up the islands these all important the landmasses also the influence on our geographical the atmospherical conditions example these all the important the factors are influence on our the economical factors our political factors, or our agricultural system, or our river system, or our the soils of India, and these all factors are influenced by, and thus above already what I told, these factors are also influence our work, agriculture, or it may be landmass, or it may be the soil system, or it may be the agriculture, the transport and communication, and our navigation system, and or whatever the it may be political or it may be geographical it may be the economical factors the influence to india and because of this all the geographical factors because of this all the physical factors influence on our the india physiography based on these physiographic factors the india again classified physiography the total the four important physiographic divisions which are the important four important physiographic divisions means and the first one the we should call the mountains first one the mountains what we should call this one the northern mountain northern mountain northern mountains the second one second one the the northern 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 mountains and northern plains then third one important the peninsula The peninsular plateaus, the peninsular plateaus, then fourth one important the concept and division of this one, the coastal plains, coastal plains, coastal plains, and we should call this one. 
coastal plains and we should call this one one more the islands islands and these important the factors are the very important for us and these all important the classified into the four now where it is situated in india and uh, we come to know and we have to be drawn again the map of uh, india example and this one i will write here the and and islands So here we have to take like this and uh, next we have to take like this the area then again we have to take and here uh, the right side and next we have to take here like this uh, then and then again we have to take like this areas and again we have to take the down and not separate but looking like uh, the map of India means and it's okay. Just looking like the map of India means and it's okay. And here little bit different here. Then the uh, Gujarat areas, Gujarat areas, Gujarat and the Rajasthan area, little bit the difficulty is there. Then we have to take like this. Okay. Then this become correct. Then these important the four the physiographic divisions area. The first one, the where this means and this the northern part and here to here and full northern area and uh, where it will start means the Arunachal Pradesh too and here Kashmir and it is called the first one important geographical features first one important geographical features and it is called the first important geographical features then second one more important the northern plains northern plains means and here Ganga river to and your Brahmaputra river, Brahmaputra river and it is the second one important physiographic division and it is the first one the northern mountain, already northern mountain here this area, then second up northern plain, this is northern plain area, then third one important peninsular plateaus, peninsular plateau means and this the triangular shape, this the triangular shape of India means and northern Vindhya and Satpura and uh, southern part of the Aravali range and uh, that side Gondamur land these particular areas covered by India means and this area is called Peninsula Plateaus Peninsula Plateaus and this it is the third one important third one important the physiographic divisions of India physiographic divisions of India then second one more important the over and third one this one and fourth important the coastal area or coastal regions again coastal regions also classified here and eastern coast and western coast coastal coastal plains means two important coastal areas are there example and here also coastal region and here also covered by water here also covered by water and the near coastal area is called a the coastal plains and this here and the western are the uh, this the coastal part it is called western coastal plain simple idea and this one the fourth one important fourth one important the west we should call okay the most important the eastern coastal area then last one more important this is islands this one islands where these islands means uh, already many islands are there here Andaman, Nicobar islands are there and here the Lakshadweep islands are there here. the islands are there and uh, before and physiographic divisions and classified into the major important the uh, major important six so which are the important means and here one more important is there that is called desert that is called desert the desert region and uh, here before but at present in your SSSS textbook and four only given and total six the physiographic regions are there where it is six are and the uh, separate given and the second one here one more important the fifth one uh, the 
desert region and the last one more important and this is sixth one the islands islands of india but already islands also merged in the fourth point and this one economically not important like this remaining four and it is also i not mentioned but uh, the total important how many physiographic divisions are there means the total the six are there and in our textbook and only four are given which are those first one northern mountain and second one the northern plains and third one the peninsula plateaus and uh, fourth one important coastal plains and uh, islands now we have to be discuss in detail and one by one one by one which are the important the points are given what are the importance of this all the physiographic divisions of india we have to be discuss and now one by one and first uh, this point we have to be discuss and this point and the northern greater mountain and this whole india whole india can be classified into four yes or no already you know this one all four now we have to discuss only the one part and the first division this is called northern northern part northern part is called northern mountain northern part is called northern mountain and these the mountains we have to be detail we have to discuss and these northern mountain also simple idea sir northern mountains means and i will tell the the small uh, detail about this northern mountain sir northern mountain it is one of the important himalayan mountain and it is the young mountain we should call this northern mountain is also called himalayan mountain northern mountain also himalayan mountain we should call and here the another name it is called the fold mountain of india then one more important highest uh, the mountain ranges of the world concentrated in only for the himalayan mountain means uh, and this the northern mountain then second one more important sir here many important the mountain peaks are there the example extends from the 2400 km and this northern mountain is big 2400 m and extends from and nanga range we should call it is nanga range sir where it is nanga and uh, jammu and kashmir area start from here only nanga range nanga range to last one namuch barwa namuch barwa suppose anybody ask to you sir the himalayan mountain start from the which range and up to end it is which range means start from nanga range and here jammu and kashmir and uh, here this one passes through this northern part of all the the states and the full edge of india the example which are the important this ranges means uh, see here and here the jammu kashmir and here again the himachal pradesh and this area all and again it will come here full northern part many important nation example here this is nepal and this is tibet and here arunachal pradesh last one namuch barwa and here arunachal pradesh and uh, the namuch barwa and this is the one more important the last the eastern part of a india namuch barwa see the start 2000 2400 2400 the total the meters of this the himalayan greater plains are himalayan mountain and the here length sir nanga range to namuch barwa range we state means arunachal pradesh and here western part state means here jammu kashmir and again sir uh, it is length east to west sir width means uh, and uh, north to south 240 meters to 320 240 to 320 see here and uh, 240 240 meters 240 meters northern and below and uh, 320 240 to 320 320 meters the width of and northern mountain and these all the important based on based on this the height the ranges of the mountain and again this one east and west means total the 5 lakhs important the 5 lakhs 
the important area that covered 5 lakhs kilometer area that covered by these all mountain I told full northern part the Himalayan mountain only the total 5 lakhs kilometer the areas also that covered by the northern mountain and uh, based on this one the highest and height of it, the ranges again these mountains also the northern mountains also the classified important the again the major three sir which are the important the northern mountain again classified important three means uh, first one greater himalaya again classified important three the first one more important here greater himalaya greater himalaya greater himalaya greater himalayas then second one more important lesser himalaya lesser himalaya then third one important third one important we should call shivalik range okay shivalik range shivalik range and uh, this is also alternate names are there this one is called the himadri and this one is called the Himachala and this one is called Shivalik and alternate means and northern mountain Alatai to the extent from the Nanga range to the last one the Namuchvarva range full this the northern India part and here the total the 2000 the 400 the meters up to the last Ranachar Pradesh again this one and the northern the mountains the classified based on the height of a mountains the example i will say here and this one start from the average okay the average the minimum height means 6000 meters 6000 meters and the second lesser himalaya or we should call mid himalaya lesser himalaya or we should call mid himalaya or we should call trans himalaya or we should call this one himachal see your alternate names are there lesser himalaya also same trans himalaya also same or himachala also the name it is the same is there example first one here minimum the 500 up to last and here 4000 and 500 to 4500 to and 1500 1500 the meters the ranges also lesser himalaya then the last one more means the third important ranges means the start from the 1500 the last stage means and 1500 the meters to and the end means the very low means last the 600 the meters above the sea level based on the height of a mountains classified into another important major three important region are three important the himalayas and uh, now we have to be discuss the again one by one sir greater himalaya means where sir greater himalaya means where the this greater himalaya again classified here this one important three example the first one i told full i told here northern mountain means total the two thousand four hundred again two thousand four hundred also again classified into three and the first one important the here greater himalaya greater himalaya means start from jammu and kashmir northern part jammu and kashmir northern part here average ranges i told sir minimum six thousand six thousand and above six thousand and above all mountains are concentrated this north area see this north area and uh, is in here we have to take now the one by one one by one the particulars all the three important mountain ranges see already you know that very interesting this area suppose they will ask mountains of himalaya means where to where start and where it is the extended and where it is end these all history means again we have to come to know the detail of this the mountain area first one and uh, we have to be say that one the greater himalaya or we should call the himalaya first one the greater himalaya means and only the northern part of himalaya 
is it jammu kashmir to jammu kashmir to last one the nepal and bhutan and arunachal pradesh and this one average means minimum 6000 to last the edge of this mountain the example mount everest have you know mount everest mount everest and height of mount everest means here only i will clarify average i written 6000 minimum and up to average 6000 means the recordest mountain in the world means the mount everest the feet means 8848 meters above the sea level above the sea level sir what is the meaning of the sea level means sir example i will show here this is this is the sea right up above the sea level this mountain means like this okay the whole mountain whole mountain and uh, here meter we have to be measured here see above the sea level mount everest 8848 meters above the sea level above the sea level the here it is recorded highest the mountain peak in the world sir where it is concentrated sir where it is means and india and nepal and we should call the two countries and tibet and nepal where is tibet and nepal means sir the near here near sikkim and here the tibet is there and here nepal is there in between and mount everest is there mount everest and the highest the peak in the world 8848 meters above the sea level okay and uh, not only for this mount everest again many important the ranges are there example the davalagiri davalagiri ranges uh, then the mahagiri ranges uh, and uh, the uh, next one more important the makalo ranges uh, and monal ranges uh, and these areas again covered with the ice are covered with snow this all the area because the high important the latitude area this one the minus the temperature should be common and throughout the year means the 12 month this all the above the mountain the 24 hours the covered with here full of ice only and here the one of the important character because of this reason here only the ice we have to see and this because of this reason and uh, the northern part the covered by ice because this is one of the important region we should call Himadri this is called Himadri see why we should call this one the Himadri means sir this area covered with covered with the snow okay because of this region and this the northern greater are the great Himalaya also called Himadri and one more the many glaciers are there example the Gangotri glaciers and Yamunotri glaciers and many mountain passes are there many mountain passes many 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 mountain passes are there example the Jojila, Brazila, the Sitkila these the very economical value many important hill stations are there many important mountain passes are there and glaciers are there and northwest of the Himadri and again one more important name it is called the great Himalaya all also concentrated highest the mountains are concentrated in only here then one more the which is the important the India's highest mountain the peak of India means the K2 we should call K2 K2 also it is in great Himalaya K2 right K2 also great Himalaya K2 where it is and it is in full northern part of a Jammu Kashmir edge of the Indian boundary K2 and again one more name of this K2 means Karakuram range. See so yeah, K2 means also same Karakuram range and it is in the Karakuram range K2 and also one more alternative name you should call Gadvina steel. Many times asked this question in exam. Gadvina steel also same meaning Karakuram range also same meaning and one more important K2 also same meaning K2 also it is the where it is located and uh, where it is located means it is major important gate of himalaya or we should call the himadri then again uh, the 
this the greater himalaya also called the some particular area different different names the example the in the nepal the sagara mata suppose they will ask in main examination suppose they will ask in main examination and uh, which area we should call and uh, the which country and this great himalaya also the sagara mata we should call means the nepalians the great himalaya we should call sagara mata and next uh, the one more important the tibetians what we should call means uh, the chomulungma 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 and it is called the tibetians chomulungma and the sagara mata and sagara mata and the nepal and they will call and second one more important the tibetians means the chomulungma we should call then the second the second one more important area means lesser himalaya or himachala or we should call mid himalaya see alternate the again three name here lesser himalaya also same meaning and the second one the himachala also same meaning and mid himalaya also same meaning and sir i told sir this one based on height and 4500 meters above the sea level to and 1500 meters above the sea level these the mountain ranges are concentrated in only lesser himalayas and the lesser himalayas example the first one sir here the width how much is there width means the start from the 60 to 80 km 60 to 80 km wide is there 60 to 80 km and in middle means here above which is there means great himalaya is there great himalaya is there and the 60 the start from here and up to and again take here the 80 80 means continuous and the southern part of a the greater himalaya and up to the 80 meters start from 60 and here 80 meters next up the detail about this one sir here eastern part and covered by full of a the with the forest many important type and here also average ranges the forest are there and many important parallel ranges are there the example the pilgrimage places are there and dawala dawala giri and musori nainital and uh, next one more important the darjeeling all the historical places and hill stations all also attract to the tourist area and the mid himalaya very important the darjeeling famous for coffee famous for tea okay sorry coffee means it is in karnataka is there the tea important the tea plantation the famous in darjeeling and where this means and this all the mid area the himalayas area this is himachal area famous is there next one more important the eastern part and full covered with the forest area and many important parallel ranges also and concentrated here and uh, next uh, major hill stations are there many hill stations are there sir which are the important the hill stations of this one means uh, the i told before shimla is there here and uh, raniket is there here and next uh, the mussoor is there here nainital is there here the darjeeling is there because and this is the second one important of the lesser himalaya also very important then third one important third one important area shivalik areas shivalik area means the start from the very low mountain ranges here because we should call shivalika are also this one we should call foot hills foot hills and this one starts from i told sir very less the ranges and less the meter ranges are there here and the hills are there here next third one important sir himachala southern part start and uh, here up to the last that uh, below the trans himalaya and this is called third one important and that is called the shivalika and shivalika also called foot foot hills this one is called the foot hills sir why we should call the foot hills this one is called foot hills sir okay sir why we should call foot hills this one means sir here less less the 
less height mountain peaks are concentrated in foothills and one more sir the we should call shivalika many many means uh, the lots of shiva temples are concentrated in the shivalika ridge and shivalika hill stations and because we should call this one shivalika ridge or the foothills and which are the important the mountain passes and the ranges and here means and here width means and 15 to 150 km sir here width already i told sir meters means already below the 1500 meters to and 600 the meters the ranges then here the sir width how much is there means 15 meters to and 100 the 50 15 to 150 and here the 150 is the means and here to the 15 meters the above the sea level width is there and what are the important information of this one and uh, western area means here start from here west and uh, end from here east the start from these areas start from this area and uh, the jammu kashmir start from jammu kashmir then afterwards the uttaranchal then afterwards the bhutan then afterwards the last one sikkim and the sikkim and end of this one the areas of the bojila and here also many important mountain passes are there and uh, example the 600 to 500 all the ranges are concentrated here then the extend from and the 600 to the 5 1500 meters and this all also concentrated here then one more these are also very less mountain area less vegetations and compared to this one and compared to the northern the himalaya then the end where this means uh, near sikkim tista river near sikkim tista river tista many times asked this one okay and uh, start from the kashmir and end it is tista tista means and near sikkim area end here tista river and this is the brief and the and also i give an information to you and greater himalaya lesser himalaya and shivalika and now we have to be the again discuss here this one allied i told now sir what are the importance of this mountain himalayas sir what are the importance of the northern greater mountains this is very important to you because uh, and the first one the mountains of himalaya means and uh, i will say god only given protection for us god only given protection for us example example the himalaya mountain giving security to india himalaya mountain giving security to india sir how we can say sir say any country any country the attack on india through the border of the northern mountain means not possible to attack not possible to attack because because and this mountain here 2000 2400 sorry 2000 meters here meters covered by ice drona any type means of advanced technology through the satellite any nation can be attack on india means it is not possible to attack through the northern part and himalayan mountain see here in history historical background we can say any the foreign invaders and foreign any country should not enter in india the through the through the mountains of himalaya or it may be mongolians or it may be moguls or it may be any important the all the foreign invaders also only enter in india this the coastal area and uh, already sir where it is means vasco de gama calicut ridge then second many important many important that during the medieval ages during the period of medieval ages and north western part north western part this area rajasthan and punjab rajasthan and punjab and golan pass golan pass is there no this through the land border only all the the foreigners are entered to india they started and again the rule for us many years example mogalas okay mogal empire and the sultan of the delhi nearly 400 means uh, the 
1526 to last end of the 1526 to 15 the 26 and uh, up to the AD 1526 AD 2 and 1707 AD means how many years here nearly the 500 years nearly 500 years and uh, India ruled and the which are the important area they came means only for this uh, Rajasthan and also the Gujarat area but uh, suppose here also mountain covered means not possible to enter in India because God only given protection to India because Himalaya also the security place to us then second one more important the prevent the cold winds from the Central Asia prevent the cold prevent the cold wind from the Central Asia very important point prevent the cold winds from Central Asia Central Asia means you can go again up again up here and here North Pole is there North Pole is there means uh, high temperature area no low temperature area high pressure and here always always 0 degree temperature here 0 degree temperature and uh, full of cold winds and full of cold winds and because all cold winds are so abstract by this the mountains of Himalaya because India very safe India very safe example here full ice covered area your, your answer sir below New Delhi is there New Delhi and no any ice not covering the morning and uh, New Delhi also very healthy climate is there and above states above states Himachala and no very comfort because and given the full security to India and one more important and this one obstruct the rain bearing winds and by the Arabian Sea southwest monsoon wind becomes stopped by and this Himalayan mountain we suppose this Himalayan mountain not there means and uh, India not getting every year during the month of rainy season and now we are comfort the agricultural purposes we are using southwest monsoon rain and 80 percentage 80 percentage every year rain also receiving by the southwest monsoon winds because the successful this one the Indian mountain northern mountain only this the south West winds the start from Indian Ocean here now and uh, here when it's come means low degree temperature and your ice covered area again it will come the reflect to the earth and it will become the clouds then the rain shower areas and these are the second one more important then home of all the animals home of all the animals listen variety variety types of animals are there skies with different variety types of birds are concentrated here then many important and uh, biodiversity centers means and these mountains of Himalaya is there mountains of Himalaya is there then one more these mountains of Himalaya also birthplace of many rivers birthplace of many rivers more than 90 percentage of all the rivers 90 percentage of all the rivers and uh, rises in only for mountains of Himalaya 90 percentage all the rivers of the North India the example the hot river of North India we should follow the hot river of North India sir which are those means uh, the river Indus the river Indus river and the river Ganga and the river Brahmaputra these all the rivers are also rises in only for the northern part of India, northern part of India, and next, uh, sir, what are the important? Another important means, sir, here consider as a biodiversity centers of India, biodiversity centers of India, and these all the economical background, okay, example, allopathy, herbiopathy, and homeopathy, all the plants are also, and variety type of the species of the plants are also, and here we have to be fine because the Himalayan mountain also very important for us. Yes, and uh, this again you have to read, already I have given the more information about this, the greater Himalaya and again the three important types also classified based on the mountain ranges and the first one greater Himalaya, lesser Himalaya and Shivalika. These ranges after I told you 
what are the important this question is very important okay this question is very important many times asked four marks also they will ask the three marks also definitely they will ask what are the importance of the northern mountain what are the importance of the himalayan mountain means already i told more than the eight point the ten points we have to be say pattern economical is very important and rain bearing weights and already many points already discussed with you and uh, tomorrow and i will continue this continuation part of this one and once again and uh, good up to you and tomorrow we have to be continue remaining syllabus thank you